When you work with the tangents or the cotangents, we'll, we'll start with tangent. We're going to fill in the table. Again, those are the top, the bottom, left, and right on the inner circle, and the 45s in between them, right? When you are on the right-hand side of the unit circle, your ordered pair is 1, 0. When you do tangent, you're doing sine over cosine. or the y over the x. So what happens when you put 0 over 1? 0 divided by 1 is 0. At pi over 4, in the first quadrant, your x and y are both square root of 2 over 2. So what's square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2? Okay, I'm going to switch colors there. 1. Uh, pi over 2 at the top now. That's 0, comma, 1. So what's 1 divided by 0? Undefined. 3 pi over 4, I'm, I'm not going to do that one. Go to pi at the uh, left-hand side. That's negative 1, comma, 0. What's 0 divided by negative 1? Skip 5 pi over 4, go to 3 pi over 2 at the bottom, which is 0, negative 1. Undefined. We'll skip 7 power 4 and go to 2 pi. We're back to the beginning. So that's the pattern. When you are graphing a tangent function, tangent at 0 starts with a 0, then it's undefined, then it's 0, then it's undefined, then it's 0, then it's undefined, then it's 0. You got it? Got that pattern? Okay, so I'm just going to scroll it down. Remember, you guys can still see it up there. Um, how often did we start repeating our numbers there, though? It didn't take us from 0 to 2 pi to repeat, right? Actually, a pi, right? So period of this function is pi. It's going twice as fast as the uh, sine and cosine did yesterday. And starts at, let's just say, a zero for tangent. So we're still going to, we're going to still do the same critical points. Now, because it repeats every pi, and I went out to two pi, I'm actually seeing two tangent functions, but we're going to just, all of our graphs are always going to have five critical values for the x-axis. So. so why isn't it up to 5 pi in the case? Four I'll do it in purple. So if you look up above, 0 was a 0. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Put a dot at zero. The next critical value is undefined, so we're going to label it like a vertical asymptote. The next one is a zero. The next one is a vertical asymptote. And the next one is a zero. That's what they're doing. So undefined So the asymptote is just indicating where your values were undefined. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and look at that one extra point that we put in there, and it was that at pi over 4, what was my value? What? So pi over 4 is somewhere in between here. So this is like pi over 4. I'm labeling it in a different color because it's not really a critical value, but my dot, let's say, would be right about there. which tells me then that this particular tangent curve goes up and to the right. So this one goes up and to the right, 
which means it goes down to the left. So if I'm on this zero, I would go down to the left. So your graphs will always go against the vertical asymptotes and either follow them up or follow them down. And so when you do a tangent, things you're going to know is that zero, you start with a zero, and it goes up to the right. Let's do cotangent, and then we'll take a look and you can ask questions about both of them. With cotangent, we're talking about the reciprocal, right? So we'll do that in green. Uh, what's the reciprocal of zero? Or if tangent is zero, then you know cotangent will be undefined. Power of four, what's power over four for cotangent? It's also one. Power over two, if tangent was undefined, cotangent will be a zero. Tangent to zero, cotangent will be undefined. Undefined, zero, zero, undefined. They're just patterns different. Start with the asymptotes, undefined, zero, undefined, zero, undefined. So the period of the function is still pi, and this time it starts with a for asymptote, or undefined, however you want to write that down. So my critical values, oh, let's do red again, 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, out to 2 pi. We said the first one was... undefined. The next one was a zero. The next one is undefined. The next one is a zero. And the next one is undefined. What was the one extra piece I put in at power of four? What did we get? So that, again, that's somewhere between zero and power over two. So like maybe right there, we're at a one. So if that dot's there, what does it tell you about the graph? Goes up and to the left, down and to the right, up and to the left, down and to the right. So any questions about the tangent or the cotangent graph? There are a few, few variations in it, um, and they're, they're definitely totally different graphs than sine or cosine. They're not continuous waves. So how do you pick sine over 4 